Hello, thanks for watching another shooting breakdown. I shot some branded content for Wolverine boots and Ram truck. We shot this for a vertical edit, but for this video today, everything will be shown in HD. So for the first setup, we captured the group talking together, having a group discussion. We used the Airy M18 through double opal diffusion, kept the overhead lights on, kept the garage door open. In a sense, this could be a form of high key lighting. In other words, we aim to bring the ambience in the room higher and then we splash the key on the talent. The second setup, um, group work, individuals working, everything was in the same spot. We just switched from wide to tight for, the, for each group. So that kind of helped us save time. Um, at this point, I switched gears mentally and I no longer wanted to light just for general exposure. Therefore, I killed the house lights since the overheads were too much. They were not dimmable. Uh, we couldn't turn them off by certain sections. Using other resources, we have windows and light leaks from outside to use that became our ambience. The M18 was outside, which gave us our daylight sun coming in. This created a flare and a nice glow on the shot. This tungsten light at the top of the ceiling was actually the sun coming in through whatever material that's at the top of this building. Next, we gave the talent a key with the Aperture 300D using the spotlight adapter. We kept the key daylight since I'm kind of shooting this all as an extension from the window. Next, we splashed some room tone in the back with the 300 Nova panel. And because of the shadows on the right side of his face were pretty harsh, we wrapped some bounce with beaded boards to fill in the face. Part two of this setup was when they added the group and they added the car. We took down the M18 from outside, moved it inside, and we used it to light the car. Whenever you're shooting lifestyle or branded content and there's a product, it's always important to make sure it's visible. You don't want it to get lost in the shadows. So we used the M18 on the front side and then on the back side of it, we took the Aperture Nova panel that we had before and we faced it directly at the back of the car. For setup number three, we had a few outdoor group shots. The sun was kind of working in our favor. It was pointing towards the camera, so we used the 8x8 Ultra Bounce to just reflect it right back to the talent. This was a quicker shot, so we tried to keep it simple, but in all honesty, it's all that we really needed. We occasionally moved in the M18. We had it behind Double Opal again and was dimmed down to about, I don't know, 10% or something like that. And we only used it if we felt we couldn't get enough light for close-ups. I hope this video was helpful. Leave questions and comments below. If you want to see more stuff like this, like and subscribe.